Welcome back to 17 News at Noon podcast, where we share your news on your schedule. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News at Noon. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for 17 News at Noon. I'm Nicole Gitsky. We'll begin with big news in the fight against coronavirus. Governor Gavin Newsom is expanding the eligibility for COVID-19 vaccines. In Governor Newsom's update, people 50 or older will be eligible starting next Thursday. That's April 1st and anyone 16 or older can get the vaccine starting April 15th. Also mentioned, if an eligible person goes to get the vaccine and they're accompanied by a family member, the family member can also get the vaccine. No questions asked. And this announcement comes as President Joe Biden wraps up his first news conference since taking office. It's been 64 days, a record no other president in the last century has waited this long to face the press. Coronavirus and immigration were key issues touched on. President Biden laid out a new goal for COVID-19 vaccinations, pledging to have 200 million doses administered by the end of his first 100 days in office. That's doubled the goal he set in December and reached earlier this month before his 60th day in office. I know, I know it's ambitious, twice our original goal, but no other country in the world has even come close, not even close to what we were doing. President Biden also touched on the immigration influx we are seeing at her borders, saying the increase in migration was a cycle. We will have more on President Biden's press conference tonight on 17 News at 5. And this comes as the death toll from coronavirus continues to climb in Kern County. Public Health announced 19 new deaths today. A reminder, these deaths didn't occur today, but are just being accounted for. These 19 deaths occurred during January and February. Now back in January, we were losing 85 people a week during the winter surge. Public Health also announced 58 new cases. 83 people are currently in the hospital being treated for more acute symptoms of COVID-19. 16 are being treated in the intensive care unit. And it's important to remember that these aren't just statistics. They're real people with friends and family who miss them dearly. 17 News is reaching out to, the, to those who have lost loved ones to the coronavirus. We've provided a space for the community to honor those who've died, where you can upload their photos and share their names and your memories of them. We're calling it the Those We've Lost Gallery. If you'd like to post a picture, we have a link on our website, kget.com. Now to a major game changer in the race to get Kern County vaccinated against COVID-19. Cal State Bakersfield mass vaccination site is opening tomorrow, plenty to get the vaccine in the arms of thousands of people a day. Appointments opened yesterday for the new mass vaccination site at the university. CSUB teamed up with Kaiser Permanente, Dignity Health and Adventist Health to provide the shots and staffing needed for this huge undertaking. The site will be open seven days a week, including Easter. And Bakersfield College is helping to vaccinate Kern County residents. Tomorrow, BC will offer 1,000 Johnson & Johnson vaccines during a drive through clinic. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine is a one-dose shot, so those who get the shot will not need to schedule an appointment for the next dose. It's happening from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. at BC's campus, located at 1801 Panorama Drive. You are encouraged to make an appointment by heading to bakersfieldcollege.edu slash studenthealth slash clinic. And a reminder that anyone age 65 or older, healthcare workers and first responders are eligible to get the vaccine, plus teachers, child care workers, farm workers, and those in emergency services. Pregnant women and people with serious health conditions like cancer, type 2 diabetes, and chronic kidney disease are also eligible. So are people with developmental disabilities and those in certain work settings like public transit and the prison system. And if you are in one of those eligible groups, you can sign up for a vaccine appointment using the state's website, myturn.ca.gov. You can also call 833-422-4255 to schedule an appointment. Now to a signature issue here on 17 News, pedestrian safety. A woman was struck and killed by a car in Central Bakersfield last night. Police say it happened on Union Avenue near East California Avenue just before 10 p.m. Investigators said the woman was crossing the street outside of the crosswalk at the time of the collision. The car that hit the pedestrian came to arrest after crashing into a building. Police say the woman died at the scene. According to BPD, the driver, also a woman, cooperated with the investigation. Drugs or alcohol do not appear to be factors in the collision. And overnight, several streets in downtown Bakersfield flooded after a water main break impacting several businesses. 
A spokesperson from Cal Water says the flooding was in the area between 18th and 20th streets and Ellen N streets. Bakersfield Police Department was on scene providing traffic control in the area. The crews are still cleaning up that mess left behind and are working on repairing the break. It's unknown when those repairs will be finished. Clinica Sierra Vista is helping to vaccinate one of our most vulnerable populations, the homeless. Today, team members are offering the Johnson & Johnson vaccine for those less fortunate. They are looking to vaccinate those in the homeless encampments between Chester Avenue and 24th Streets. Everyone at this site received the vaccination today, which is amazing. Um, they all wanted it, and uh, the words from these folks were, I've been waiting for it, I've heard um, I should get it, um, and our doctors have been explaining why they should be, the efficacy behind it. Um, it's really incredible. We're, we're meeting people where they are and offering uh, what is a life-saving vaccination. Callahan says the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is perfect for this specific population because they don't need to get a second shot. Clinica Sierra is hoping to continue vaccinating the homeless in our community. And a local church is helping to feed families in need. Tomorrow, Canyon Hills Church, along with CityServe, will host the Truck to Trunk Food Box Giveaway. The church plans to give out 2,630 pound food boxes. The boxes contain fresh produce, protein, and dairy items. Anyone is welcome to attend the drive through event. It runs from 10 to 11 a.m. at 7001 Auburn Street. Today we commemorate 15 years since the passing of Bakersfield's most famous citizen. Buck Owens, the chart-busting country music hall of fame performer, radio magnet, and community benefactor, died on this day in 2006 at the age of 76. He had 21 number one hits on the Billboard country music chart, including 14 in a row during one five-year stretch, and he co-hosted the musical variety show Hee Haw for 17 seasons. But he was best known locally for his business. He owned several radio stations across the West, including Bakersfield KUZZ, for his Crystal Palace Diner Club, and for his decades of generosity in his adopted hometown of Bakersfield. Owens is regarded, of course, as one of the driving forces behind the Bakersfield sound. And on that front, we can report some good news. You can soak in a little Buck Owens ambiance when the Bakersfield Music of Art reopens to the public this coming Tuesday with three exhibits, one of which is called the Bakersfield Sound, Roll Out the Red Carpet. It features artifacts from that era, including Buck's very first Fender Telecaster guitar and a self-guided tour narrated that was written by 17's own Robert Price. BMOA members can get a sneak peek starting this Saturday. Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News at Noon. The 17 News at Noon podcast is a production of KGET and Nexstar Media Group. For more on all of the headlines in today's show, head to KGET.com.